It's road trip time, that's right. I am heading due east and I'm leaving East Tennessee going straight across North Carolina. My plan is to drive as far as I can so I can't drive anymore and then maybe even get on a boat and go out a little further. But uh, on the way, I have a couple ideas of uh, maybe stopping and fishing. Also, this is going to be like a eight or nine day trip that I've kind of worked out and planned out and everything is tentative about the weather and who can meet at what time and I've, I've talked to four or five different people trying to you know work things with and plus I got some uh, days where I'm just going to do a little exploring so I got a lot of different fish I'm planning to fish for and a lot of places I'm fishing where I don't know what could be in there it could be anything new or new kind of fish so um, I've just figured I'd give you a little this is gonna be like the first episode or first uh, video of my trip so I kind of want to explain what's going on and you know, I, I, first off, I want to thank the Lord for uh, letting me be able to do this full time, you know, be able to take, you know, a week and a half or whatever it's going to be and go uh, travel somewhere and just fish and have fun and uh, make these videos. Uh, also, I, I'd already uh, edited like four videos <laughs> ahead, so I got those videos edited out and um, I'll that way I can keep up with that while I'm out fishing. I don't have to worry about doing that kind of stuff. So. Um, I, I have an idea where I'm going to stop for my first fishing trip uh, of the trip and um, we'll see if it works out. I, I don't know what the weather's like. It's been raining a lot. It may be different. So we'll find something but I'll let you know when we get there. Well, this was my first stop I was planning on. It's uh, about three hours from my house. It's actually in the hills of South Carolina and I'd come here in the spring and I fished it and couldn't get anything to buy. The water was super clear. Now the water is murky. I hate, I don't want to do a video on it because it's such a cool place when the water is clear. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking about trying to get back. It's not too far from my house, but it is getting close to winter. And I feel like the fish are going to shut down, but it's such a really cool place that I'm going to have to come back and do it again. I'm, I'm going to pass it up for today. Alrighty, I think I found a good spot to start out this video of fishing with actually I, yesterday i fished two different places and they didn't turn out the way i expected they were muddy and different but um so i'm in north carolina now and uh, i looked at a place last night and kind of stayed nearby and then i drove over here right from where i was staying at which was the walmart parking lot and i found the spot right here it's called something marsh so that got my attention and it's a creek and there's two bridges right beside each other and it's a really black looking water's got some flow to it it's the hole down there looks really good. Um, man, it's just like a dark black water. Oh, it's on. There's a little spot here. Looks like people come down here and stand. Check out how black this water looks. It's something I'm just, oh, it's a frog. I'm nervous of snakes too, but dude, check this spot out. Let's go get something out of here. I got. I've got a whole array of lures. I've got little lures, big lures. I think there could be anything in a spot like this. Well, the spot I just fished, all I caught there was a few Instagram pics. So my buddy, I, I, I got a couple friends that live in the area and have been messaging me and um, different spots. And one of them sent me to this spot right here and it looks really cool. And there's a, a lot of uh, new species that I might be able to catch and a few that I'm really wanting to catch. And we'll see what happens. Oh, man, this water, this black water is so weird. There's this big old fish swirling and I can't see them because it's so dark. Go. All right, I gotta get some bug spray on. Before I get sick, dry. Well, one thing for sure is I've been struggling. I haven't even got a bite from a fish. I got the worm out there. I've tried several lures. Only thing I've even seen is something that keeps hitting the top of water. I don't know if he's just. I don't know if he's eating anything or if he's just hitting. I figured I'd go ahead and get the fly rod out. I need to practice a little bit. And there's a opening here so i'm gonna throw this little top water thing across it and maybe just whatever is hitting will hit this thing i don't even know what it is and if not can't hurt because i ain't gotten a bite on anything else yet
you just never can quite tell what you're gonna come across at a Walmart parking lot. I don't know if this dude's like taking his turtle out for a walk or what. You just got two of them? I've got about six of them here oh. today. There's the little brown ones are sulcata, they're African land tortoises. Yeah, people don't care nothing about this country. No. Again, that thing's huge. Well, this is the most exciting thing that's happened today. You just take them out, or do you have a place you just keep them? Nah, we just travel around, feed them. Okay. Take in money, helps us feed them. Yeah, just get them out and yeah. let people see them. Man, the bugs on this place, I just keep spraying myself down with uh, bug off, or whatever it's called, off, and they still keep swarming. But I'm back from Walmart with some cut squid. Flukes, might try those. Some whole bait fish. And we got shrimp. I brought out all the stuff that I could bring out. It's the fourth quarter. It's time to get a fish because I haven't even had a bite yesterday or today from anything. So I'm ready to get some. Oh, that fish was right in front of me that time. It's either a bowfin or a gar. I'm hoping bowfin because that's what I want to catch. Oh, oh, yes, I got a fish. Oh, oh. Get it up here. Woo. First fish today. Oh, it's been a long day. We got ourselves a crappie. I was just worked the trout magnet over here to where this current's flowing out. So I'm going to drop it right back down in there. See if there's a bunch of crappie or something in here. All right. All right. Is there any more down there? Let's drop it down. Get a little twitching. Whole new day today. Different feeling. Yesterday, caught one fish. Today, fish are going to get caught. And I'm also moving to the ocean. Or, or part of it, we're going to fish some uh, saltwater fishing today. I'm going to search around, find a good spot to stop and get to it. All right, let's try this spot. This is like little, this is coming in out of the ocean. And there's a little little pathway here on with the inlets or whatever so there's water moving through here I'm chunking it out see if something will bites come on take it I'm getting bites finally at least getting bites from something there even though they're small oh yes I think I hooked him in the back oh my old friend the pinfish seems to be the only thing I know how to catch I caught these when I went to Florida, like a hundred of them. And I'm trying to get something bigger, threw out a little piece of shrimp and boom. At least I, I've matched my catch from yesterday. And you can use this for bait, so I'm gonna, uh, we'll probably put them on one of these rods here. Well, I was just driving to go to a different beach spot and I looked over and saw this pond. I said, what's the worst that could happen to not catch fear? Not, not catch fish here also no way is that a gator is that an alligator is there alligators in here oh he's coming to the shore he's coming up right at me oh, I see fish swimming around in that little pool dude he's like he's staring at me I'm like 15 feet back. I mean, I know this thing, that's not a, a really big one, but he's acting like he's a macho. <laughs> he snapped out, I don't want to catch him really. I just want to make him move. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, 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 whoa. Oh. <laughs> he's aggressive. Uh, this pond's got a drain, so it's just a retention pond. 
But there's a lot of little fish in there. All of her's deep enough to hold anything big. All right, well, I am at the beach and I'm at a little point where this channel comes in right here. And uh, that's what my friend was telling me to fish where it's coming and going out from the uh, ocean there, Atlantic. And uh, it looks deep, it looks like it really drops off right here. So I'm gonna, I don't know, there's all kinds of people fishing up and down through here. I got as good a chance as anybody, I guess. There's all kinds of bait fish right here. Whenever I, see, I'm reeling my things there and scaring them out of there. So many fish right there. Dude, I just hooked up. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I got one. I got one. Oh, man. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, I, I just changed my battery and uh, I took, I left the battery camera off because it's raining. But I'm like, it's gotta be a perfect time to fish for this. Oh my goodness. I'm so glad. It just started raining. I was thinking about leaving. I said, no. I came here to catch something and I caught something. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I don't even know what that is. I, that may be a Spanish mackerel. I don't, I think so. That's a cool fish. Oh, now I gotta get a picture without getting my camera soaked. Just started raining, but that may make them start hitting. Where'd he go? Oh, there. All right, he uh, he looked a little, oh, there you go, he swam off then. All right, he's back in. Oh yeah. Maybe I can get a few more, I don't know. That is awesome. And I got this, this spoon, and I just bought this today at, uh, at one of the one of the little stores, and boom, got a thing of fish. He was right off the bank when he hit. All right, maybe those fish are gonna be in here. At least I know that lure works now. Oh, yes! Dude, this thing hammered it. Oh, this is a good fish. Goodness, no kidding you. Oh, yes. No wonder you need such tough stuff when you're fishing these fish. Did I snag it? What did I get? Oh, I hooked him in the side. Oh, my goodness. I think I thing took off. This is a, this is a seven foot, I don't even remember what this is, like how you rate it, but it, it's rated for pretty heavy. And uh, I hooked this guy in the side. Man, he took off. All right, number two. Hopefully he didn't hurt him too bad, but I don't know. All right, number two. I thought that thing was a giant. I don't know how well he's gonna do. Ooh. He doesn't look too good. Hmm. Next cast, just slammed it. I'm using a 40 pound braid and a, I got a 30 pound fluorocarbon leader. Oh my goodness. I don't have the drag set really tight. Goodness, these fish. That was the next cast after I let that one go. Oh, what's a good one. Oh man, look at that thing. That is beautiful. I'm afraid I'm hurting these fish. I don't know. I'm trying to get them back in there as fast as I can. 
Man, that's a gorgeous lung. I don't know about him. I don't know if that's gonna make it. Ah, man, I hate that I'm hurting them. It's the way they get hooked. Get up there. Uh, the way they get hooked, they're just killing it. All right, we'll, we'll see. If I get another one like that, we'll, I'll do something else. All right, so right there. Let's see if we can get three in a row. Hopefully not. Oh, there's one that just jumped up out of the air. There are a bunch of them in there. They're coming back. There's one. What is it? What is it? Oh, yes. That's a, uh, I know what that is now. It's a uh, lizard fish. Well, I did fish for some pickerel or pike. That's as close as I got to it. <laughs> okay, take it. Wow. All right, giving up, giving up, giving up. Oh, I can't take these nets. There's a fish. Oh, what did I got? It's not that big of one. Oh, wow, what is that? I don't think I've caught one of those before. Now we're spitting up uh, all that bait fish. It's like when you catch a bass. All right, hold on, hold on. Here we go. All right, I'll look that up. Got another new species. Well, I'm finally gonna end this weird video, probably my strangest video. I don't even know how I put all this stuff together. Uh, this is gonna be from two and a half days of vlogging and fishing, and there's so much fishing that's not shown. And uh, I can deal with not catching fish and just keep trying things, but I cannot deal with the bugs. Right here, the wind started blowing, it's all right, but I was down there on that point, and um, there was some getting some bites, and also the gnats are just started covering me and they were biting like crazy. Oh yeah, I can't handle that. And then last night I was getting mosquitoes. I'm still itching from all the mosquito bites. So dude, I, I, I mean, last night I was spraying like so much bug spray and they still are biting me. So it didn't even affect them. Well, I just gotta say thank you so much for watching and sticking with this one. And uh, I got some, hopefully some better days coming, catching some more fish, catching a new species today is something that I wanted to do for this video. I was thinking it was gonna be like a pickerel or something like that, but that, that didn't happen. But I got those uh, Spanish mackerel, I caught a uh, lizard fish, caught a pinfish earlier today, and um, I actually caught another fish. I don't think I, I might not have showed it. I don't know if I had the camera on. It was something I'd caught before. But um, there's the bait fish that were running up through here, the, way, the one I was just watching, there was just millions of them. It's just nonstop fish, you know, all, all different sizes, just, just going up through there. And then you would, all of a sudden they just jump like crazy. Every, about every five minutes, something's, you know, hitting at them and they're just jumping out of the water. But I love being out here exploring that, that uh, turtle or tortoise thing, the alligator, just all kinds of cool things um, happening not other than the fishing stuff, all the birds. So I hope you liked all the video. I'm sure I put a lot of nature and different things in there, but thanks so much for watching.